Hey everybody and welcome back to another showcase of the wonderful Halle Mountain Zoo by Haribo. Today I've got a guest with me. Hello Mr. Silverett. Hello everybody. Hello. So, uh, just a little quick heads up here. Um, I just invited Sylph to make this tour because um, as I know that Sylph is a big fan of architecture and uh, mm -hmm. a special usage of pieces in contrast to your computer who doesn't like that many pieces recently. But <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I still need to look into that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just figured you wanted to just jump in because that's the news update of the recreation Haribo is doing of the Mountain Halle Zoo. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah. We're just going to have a little walk through the zoo. You guys already know it from this channel, so you've seen the first one. I'm going to link this uh, to the top right now in case you haven't seen the first episode because I'm going to go a little bit quicker through the first part because Sylph has also seen some of it already. So um, the most exciting part will be the second one. Um, yeah. Like the, the newer one. Okay. So yeah, this is the entrance area. I'm still very much in awe with it. I just love this basic like bicycle stand over here. It's just so generic, but I like it. Also, yeah. also, I like this just pun. It's, it's <laughs> very bad, but it's... I don't know, I like this. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Oh god, I just increased the speed of my mouse. I should not do this for a walkthrough. So, there you I go. I just remember that building at the entrance. Like, especially... It, Haribo made this one picture from a particular perspective, mm -hmm. which just looked super realistic with the fence out front and I think like, it was, the building in the background. Yeah, exactly. I think it I think was something it, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, somewhere like, from around here. Yeah. With, with the tram in front, which is from the workshop. I got to correct myself. Um, last time I thought he made it himself, but this is from the workshop. I got to have to look up who wa was the, the builder of that one. I'm going to put this in the description. Um, I'm, I'm still just blown away by this one because when I saw this picture initially, I was like, hey, wait, is that City Skylands? <laughs> that tram is super <laughs> impressive. Yeah. God. It's incredible. Um, yeah, so just, just go up. I just, I don't know. One thing I have to say um, with these recreations, especially in Zoo, um, there are so many things that you just spot now in a recreation you would never do actually yourself in Zoo. It's, it's a little mm -hmm. bit different from Planet Coaster in terms of... In, in Coaster, I don't know, you have... I think you just have so much knowledge already about, about theme parks that you come up with certain kind of architectural things. But Zoo's most likely developed from more natural shapes and natural elements you know this i think this was even something else beforehand with this building here i don't know i just like it it's so generic yeah it's so i think cool. it's a it's a composition thing like if you look at the the staircase here it really looks like the kind of composition that comes out of an architecture studio yeah. rather than you know a video game player thinking of a way to make the staircase look exactly cool. exactly it's so it's so cool and we will see something else like that in the very end i had some peaks already because i have to quickly mention that i did one recording already uh, two weeks ago when haribo sent this over to me initially but i completely lost it during my uh, time with the issues i had with premiere oh and so, that um, sucks yeah that's also uh, part of part of the reason why i'm very excited now to do it together with you um, I relate, actually. I lost a recording yesterday oh, for no. a Planet Coaster video, so I'm going to have did? to get back to that. Oh, so, oh, another, oh, now I'm intrigued. Is that about this summer project? Um, it, it, no, it's uh, it's actually a standalone little thing. But oh, I mean, cool. I'm not going to make any advertisements for Planet Coaster on my <laughs> channel here, but um, I can reveal that it's it's going to be a wooden coaster. Oh, that's so but cool. Just a one-off thing. No, but, but I'm I'm excited. It's it's not it's not a reveal. You just gave me a little excitement here. That's cool. So this is the <laughs> the initial shop here, and I just wanted to show one thing because I I found it so clever. I saw that the first time already, but he has hidden some shops behind here. So there are actual uh, Planet Zoo shops behind, so that the people go here. Oh. And and interact ah, yeah. with the uh, shelves, which I think is, is genius. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, so you really have the interaction. As, as you know, we are always fans of abusing the pieces to make it look more realistic. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love that. Um, I mean, okay. what, are, what are some of those like items and clothes and stuff made out of there? Um, I, th I think this is these, these wooden brackets, some of those oh, smaller yeah, ones. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. it, and it appears that this heart shape, like we have some of these shapes we do have in the generic Planet Zoo thing, but they seem to be exactly the same thickness, which is interesting um, yeah, than damn. the other one. So it's just really interesting there. Um, yeah, so in, in general, just very, very cool. And then that looks super convincing. Look a little bit to the right hand side here. So cool with all the, all the switches. I think the switches are potentially the most used pieces in the game anyway so <laughs> yeah <laughs> very cool definitely um all right so if we go further i just want to show you guys one thing this is the old red panda habitat and um, i remember that i was a little bit like last episode i was like 
oh my god, this is just so boring and so barebone. And so just Haribo has redone this. This is not really um, how it is in real life because they are currently working on this habitat in real life. So it's closed right. at the moment, but he just changed it uh, because I think it was also partly because I was complaining it was so barebone and boring. But look at that now. I love it. It's, it's a little um, uh, yeah, kind of bird cage here. Mm -hmm. And it's just, I think it's so cool. Look at how he's done the uh, the wonderful wall here with these uh, stone pieces and even, I don't know, brick and mortar is so cool. And it's all like... Yeah, it's really minimalistic, but yeah, it works. Yeah, it's so cool. And you've got the little baby birds here. Here, in general, we will see a lot of baby um, animals in the zoo. And I got to say, oh God, look at that one. I just love that. The little food spender thing here. Oh, people. damn. Yeah, that's so cool. Because they have some of them in the zoo where you can buy some stuff for the animals and then just give it mm -hmm. to them. This is so cool. Um, so, yeah, on the left-hand side, we have the uh, lemur. I think it was the lemur. Yeah, that's the lemur habitat. We have them inside here, as you can see. And then they just can go to this island in the center, which I'm I'm just such a big fan of. Like that they have oh, and I love the view that you have from this wooden walkway as well. Yeah, it's so cool. You just go here and then it's just a little recreation area and then you have this insane view here where the animals can go out and just have some some cool outside fun on the island look at that there's there's one amazing there's, job on the foliage as well it's really cool isn't it so cool and later on we will see some rock work and i talked especially about this rock work with him because i was so i, I was so impressed by the rock work and and he's got a special technique i'm going to talk about this um, because that was so cool um yeah we've got some strollers here um, if you know me, guys, and you know Kuali Beach, Strollers and me, we've kind of a history together. So I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm always a little fan of these little unnecessary but cool things. Uh, and yeah, here we come to, I think this is the part where Haribo got most famous for, also on the forums and everywhere. His, yeah, yeah. His just I remember this on Bro Nation as well. ability to build cages and, and stuff with these uh, African robes, I think he completely brought them to the table, right? I don't mm -hmm. know. I think people just ignored them. And uh, okay, I can already spoil it. There is one one habitat in the new part which blew me out of the way. Just it, it. I felt the pain because it's like every angle you can imagine, and it looks so freaking clean. That is insane. You'll see I mean, that. that's the thing, isn't it? Like people weren't doing this with ropes for a long time because everybody thought it was just not feasible. Like exactly. it would be too much work and just not really you know, work out in terms of how it looks. But yeah, no, honestly, it works. God, look at the, just, I, I love how all the wooden, uh, modern wooden pieces just work together here so well. And this, by the way, is the Jaguar habitat by now. Remember last time it was empty because we haven't had the South American DLC. And mm -hmm. um, I remember that this was, <laughs> this was one of the hardest recordings I ever did because um, he sent this over and then there was like a sign, yeah, this is perhaps maybe in the future for a Jaguar. And we had already the early access when I was doing the recording. And oh, I couldn't I yeah. couldn't say that, hey man, you had a good idea to put the Jack here. <laughs> it was like, yeah, that kind of works. But that was so hard. Like I was doing the recording, acting as if there's nothing and just like, mm -hmm. that was actually really cool. Um, yeah, also a little, um, okay. So actually my bad last time I made 5.45 p.m. So I guess we have to do this this time because I was so stupid last time to not read correctly. So I don't know if you I I knew that, but I think it's still very funny that 5:45 is the darkest time in Planet Zoo you can get. It's not getting Wait, any, really. Yeah, it's not getting any darker. So that is the I had no idea. darkest time, and this is the perfect night lighting you get. Look at that. And this is not edited. This is the oh yeah, what the hell? It's really cool. <laughs> no, I always put it to like midnight. <laughs> basically figuring that would be the darkest yeah no no this is actually this is the darkest way uh, you can get the game look at how cool that is with the lighting here also you yeah, did an amazing really great. amazing job look at he he used all the floodlights and just toned it down so you have this kind of little bit hu it almost looks like a little bit of a mist effect it's so cool mm -hmm. i love it the pangolin in here and it makes the yeah, back appear so way darker which is also pretty cool it's kind of look at that it just looks really dark in the back yeah, I like the effect of it so much, especially because usually when you put in very strong lights in this game, you know, the lighting in this game is great, but usually if you put in a few strong lights, you can very clearly see like where the light goes mm, and exactly, it doesn't look yeah. very realistic. Like yeah. they look like lasers almost. That's true. And yeah, can this have... really makes that realistic glow. Yeah, it's really cool though. I, th I like. Oh shit, that rock work. 
<laughs> I mean, I know that I think these are the 3D in game ones. Oh, uh, yeah, the 3D right. 3D back works, I guess. I mean, it looks good. It's, but it's just like with that lighting, I've actually never seen them like this. Yeah. It just looks so much more realistic it than does. just the texture alone. I think also you can really find a, a clever positioning here and it looks really like one. I still, I still wish Frontier is going to give us the chance to, at least if you put two together, that you have the option to connect them or something. I mean, mm -hmm. to just kind of rip, rip away the inner glass or whatever. Oh, look at that one. I never saw it actually lying down here in this cave when I was oh, yeah. playing like that. Um, but yeah, so there's an empty one in the back. I think we just, I oh, know that's from the Jack, I guess. Yeah, I'm um, just going to quickly go through here because that's, um, you have this one, which is also really cleverly done. Um, that's the Nile monitor. And the first time I watched this one, I was like, hey, wait a second. I'm just going to quickly go in here. Where is the entrance of that one? You know, because there's like, what is this here? Where's the entrance? And actually, this foliage in the back here is not really a wall. You can just go through and behind that one, there's the actual backstage area. So the animals just go ah. and these are like rotated needles. So they don't have a collision and the animals and right. keepers can go through. And that kind of creates this wonderful habitat over here. I love it. That's smart. Really cool. Damn. Also, like really to get around the game's limitations mm. with like... Because in the game, it's so hard to make these kinds of large Terranium type structures. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely, definitely is. Okay, let's just put it warm, my lord. You got your sunglasses with you? Because <laughs> it was pretty bright. <laughs> um, yeah, now let's um, go further. This is the um, yeah old, old stuff that is in here you already know. Um, this is the one picture, I guess, which also was shared on Bro Nation. This is one of the, the coolest Bengal tiger habitats I've ever seen. Yeah, um, yeah. Also in real life, like I really admire that one. And if I remember correctly, uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe um, this is also one of the first habitats where the zoo changed its its way from a more or less like old kind of city zoo towards a more modern one with like better habitats for the animals and more, you know, kind of uh, uh, conservation uh, approach and stuff. I like it. I like it right. a lot, I have to say. Also, like the, the foliage work in here is really great. Oh god. Yeah, it's really interesting how you look into it. Although I have to say, like as as a as a player of the game, I can hardly look at anything except for the ropes because the rope work on this one <laughs> especially is just I mean I if, don't know. If you like that one, you're going you are going to be blown away later. This is like this is good, but the next thing is next level. It's completely incredible. Hmm. Look at that dude like swimming here. Also, I like the clever usage of um of kind of dark and blue pieces in this little pool down here to make it like sh kind of shine a little bit greenish. I like just go mm -hmm. and I show you. Look at that. This is so cleverly done with some. Uh, uh, there is I, I think it's the oh, opaque yeah, right. glass or something. It really makes this thing look a bit more natural and yeah, really cool. In yeah, general, cool. I think if you if you do these recreations, you learn so much from the zoos how they use color to make things mm -hmm. look a bit in, more interesting and more deep and stuff and yeah i also love this one he just put a kind of i don't know a building site here just to pretend that this is where it uh, goes on i like that little detail you know that you yeah, just nice. have these various here so we're just going to continue go to this one because that's now a part of the new area i think this is something we have seen like a fake penguin habitat Mm -hmm. um, but again, really nice rock work with the new cobbles from the temple stone pieces. Really cleverly done here in the front. Um, yeah, and yeah, sure. Let me just show you. That, that's a Merkat, by the way. I like like a classic Merkat habitat. And look at that. Even these kind of heating lights down here. Just like this little detail. I love it. Yeah. It's just, it's just all over. It's just the realism, most of all. And, and, and I think for me, generally, just the use of textures and how everything fits together that just makes this so good. There's never yeah. anything that you look at particularly and you're like, oh, that's super impressive, but it just all comes together, except for the nets, I guess, because yeah. that's just an unholy <laughs> amount of work. But like everything just works together so exactly. well. Exactly. And I also love stuff like that. You know, we are now approaching uh, some other area where you have some underwater viewing, but just like this little detail here, you just, I mean, it's so simple, you know, but these are the kind of things I tend to forget every now and then that you just have yeah, this same. very bare bone backstage access to them and then just block the people away, the guests. But it's it's not like that real zoos completely hide them away like crazy. You don't need to put this like a million kilometers away. But then if yeah. you go down here, like this is an underwater viewing 
and um, look at that. This floaty, this is one of the details I just completely loved. We have this floaty oh, rock here, awesome. and then you have this uh, wonderful chain holding these things, which makes total mm -hmm. sense in real life because they want to maintain them in the same position. Otherwise, they're yeah. just like floating around all the way. And yeah, just like putting down the one of the habitats here makes for such a bit be better experience down here. Otherwise, it would be just like this concrete area. And that mm -hmm. way, just, I don't know, I love it. It's just very simple, but I like it a lot. So yeah, if we go a little bit higher here, you can see this is actually um, the seal habitat or the sea uh -huh. lion one. Oh, look at that water feature. I haven't even seen that. That's very neat. Yeah. And I think um, he told me also that they're changing these habitats as well, because as you can tell from these images, I think potentially that wouldn't go through as a uh, animal friendly size. <laughs> no, it's very small. So that's yeah. kind of very small. Is that actually a bin? No, that's a, the bobbin piece. But I like that you have this kind of stuff here where they put the fishies on and they just do the little tricks and oh, stuff yeah, with for them. Sure. And I, I love the glass fence as well. Yeah. It's, uh, this one, it's right? really realistic. Yeah, that's so cool. It's so, so immersive. It really is. Yeah, then you have uh, some more peafalls here. Look at that one. Just it's very simple. I like these little houses down here. Look at look at them. Yeah, they're really nice. It's so cool. I mean, they definitely cannot use them. Or just like this little detail. Look at the, the water kind of filtration, whatever system that is. I, mm -hmm. Just so cool. And have you I wonder if these are really the kind of things that come out when you're recreating something as opposed to when you yeah. come up with it yourself because you constantly have to be reminded of adding these little touches of realism. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think it's definitely about the recreation. And then you have this wonderful sun sail. And here we are, Sylph. This is a really funny little architectural thing also for you. Um, this what is sail this made out of? Is th th these little switches, but in real life, these are solar collectors. And they oh. are here to have the whole energy for this area. And they actually move, uh, as Haribo told me, with the direction of the sun during the day. So these are like put to this chain here and then they rotate with the sun light going on. I think it's so clever. It's so cool. And it looks interesting. It doesn't look, you know, it, do it doesn't look too out of place. Yeah, it doesn't just really look too horrible for sure. That's super cool. All right, now we actually enter the very new area. This was already part of the new area, um, but I I think we're gonna take the route to the right hand side after we've checked into this area and then we come back. Yeah, this is kind of then how we go. Yeah, on the left hand side, we do have a very old big cat habitat. He told me that this is mm -hmm. currently empty in the real zoo because they obviously changed this as well. This is by no means the I mean, right size. Yeah, th these are terrible habitats, yeah. but I mean, the recreation does look super realistic. Like, yeah, I've does. never it seen does. really one of these cages in Planet Zoo before, but this looks good. Yeah, that's, that's really not, really nice. I think it's kind of, in terms of size, that's kind of a snow leopard one, I would guess. But um, yeah, n not the one you would yeah. love to see. And then you have like a little petting area here. This is um, for the small animals. You can actually get in here. And we have this little thing again where you can <laughs> feed the animals. I love that you just generally put something on top of the do not. <laughs> it's just yep. like feed the animals. <laughs> I like that one. Um, and it's so clever. Look at that. He used baby uh, pronghorn antelopes again. These are, I'm not sure, or Springboks. I'm not. I think maybe Springboks. Ah, and to then, simulate like the Penning Zoo animals that exactly, you normally have. Exactly. Ah, that's cool. It's so cool. And then you have the dull sheep, and yeah, it's actually really, really cleverly done. And then yeah, you can just get. I like that the Tedget Cam acts like really the stair works. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's kind of clever. Um, I do like that Tedget Cam is good at getting up to things though, but coming down is always yeah, a bit harder. I, I know. There's some weird kind of bug, I guess. As soon as it's a little bit too steep, you kind of get bugged. I don't know what that is, but well. Um, and then we've got another one. This is the um, this is the albino, oh God, uh, Vicunas. And mm -hmm. um, he called it albino because he used the baby llamas because they are smaller and appear to be like Vicunas. And this is ah. so clever as well, I guess. And then he just kind That's of... That's such a good point. He just called them albino. I mean, that makes sense. I think it's really cool. So, um, yeah. So we, we can actually go a little bit further. You do have also... Oh, look at that. This is um, the... What are they called? The yaks and zebus. Uh, they live mm -hmm. in here. Look at that. This is like some German architecture going on here. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, this whole area reminds me a lot of the, the zoo in Berlin uh, Tiergarten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. That's true. A lot of stuff is very reminiscent of that one. So yeah, these are the zebus. I think this is the black willabies, right? In game. I love it. Yeah, I think I, 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 so. I never use these animals in my zoos, I guess. 
N not even <laughs> once. <laughs> I mean, the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. I love how you did this with the straw. Just like the feeder. Oh, that's a piece that's like totally missing from the game, honestly. Right. Damn. And then you have this big door over here. This is also something I really love. Just having more gates in general in in an mm -hmm. in an habitat that makes so much sense yep. because there are like gates everywhere. Because you have to separate the animals from each other. Sometimes they even have like an enclosure for the same species, but they have two of them. For example, lions and stuff. They quite often do have both um, because they mm -hmm. have two families and stuff. So yeah. Look at oh, especially that. if you want to separate the males and things like that. Yeah, or if, if they get babies, you also have to separate yeah. them from the, let's say, older um, kind of babies or older juveniles. You do have to do that. But now... I love the landscaping here, the though. Eggs. And he, Haribo is using this this one brick wall everywhere, but exactly. I mean, it just works really well. So. Yeah, and it's so versatile because they're recolorable, you know? And, I mean, you just have to paint once, but then it just works all over the place. And I just love how this all really comes together. And honestly, while I was speaking a lot to Haribo, one of the things which is a... I mean, building-wise, we both we know how painful it is to build with all these inclines. But, like, in terms of giving the zoo a realism aspect, this kind of challenge brings in a natural ability to make it look better. Because nothing in the real world is, like, super flat. You always have mm -hmm. these inclines and stuff. And, I mean, he just uses it to the max. Yeah, I was also looking at the pathwork there. I really didn't notice the transition to the bridge. But, like, he's really using that bridge mm -hmm. to create the, the right sort of slope to the path. Yeah. Ah, oh, that must have been really annoying to build. Exactly, yeah, but it looks so good. And it's just really exactly this this revealing and, and uh, relieving feel when you've done that. Also, look at just like this little backstage. I, oh, I just love yeah, it. Yeah, it's great. I just love that. Yeah, do you just have also a little bit of an empty one here? Um, I think we both didn't really know what exactly was in here. That was like a smaller mm -hmm. animal and it's currently empty as well. So, yeah, it could be some birds, could be something else, I don't know. But yeah, this is, look at that one, <gasps> talking of birds. What? <laughs> Wait, yeah, but what pieces is this? So, the fence is actually the in-game fence. And uh, Harry just and I, raised up. Yeah. Oh, that's And genius. we were like, okay, we can we cannot do everything with the fence, but holy crap, we can just like we can just pull that up 40 meters, you know? All right then. Mm -hmm. um, and the rest, you can guess it, is like ropes again. It's, he did but this. But then, like, getting the arch in it right is just a lot of trial and error of, like, mm -hmm. getting the actual... Oof. Man. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I have to say, from this perspective that you were just in, it does look a little bit wonky because you can always notice, like, the little dips in yeah. the ropes. But, like, especially from the front and from the side, it looks amazing. It, it does. And the more you zoom out, look at that, it kind of vanishes and it just yeah. completely sells it. It's incredible. And then, yeah, I mean, it's just so this so is a cool. big aviary. Yeah, it's a big area. I'm gonna, uh, exactly, exactly. The, the German in me was about to go on. Um, <laughs> cranes and various birds. Uh, in Interesting, here. So, very uh, descriptive. <laughs> yeah. um, and this is the one where I need to show you the rock work. I'm just going to go in. <laughs> just look at that one. And now look at this one. This is ridiculous. This is oh, so good. Oh, yeah, that's well good. done. And he just Especially with the little rocks, like, all the way at the end. Exactly. He told me what he was doing is he was just tying, uh, starting to put them in loosely. And then he started to align them to the surface of these rocks, the closer he got. And once he was moving them into each other, he was only looking at texture. And that makes sense. Look at that. He just always waited for the texture to transition. You can really tell mm -hmm. that he was always going for the darker spots in the texture. Yeah. And they continue. And that makes the rock work look so much more realistic. Also in the back, you barely even notice it. But these are just rocks. This is not the in-game. It's I not mean, the Yeah, as, I was about to say, like, for sure, the texture makes a difference. But I think the, the composition of the rock specifically here is what makes it work so well. And especially how the bigger rocks are, like, further in the back and then to the front. You yeah. have these smaller rocks, almost as if, like, in a real-life section uh, setting, they're just these smaller rocks that, like, just break off. Exactly, yeah. I think it's really, really, really well done. And I, I just love that one. I love the size of it. It's just... It's almost intimidating. It's so cool. It's mm -hmm. just this big, big thing. Um, yeah, on the backside you have the... Oh, actually the giant anteaters. I haven't even seen that there in here. Look at that. Again, very German building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I love the vibes that this zoo gives. Uh, oh, oh, look at nice. that. They can even transition into this area with the open gate. Oh, I like that one. 
It's so cool. Right. And eater. Um, yeah, and then you have this. Okay, this is one of the areas I wanted to point out. Um, this is a. It's a really interesting building. Exactly. It's a just. Actually, it's just a simple, very modern, recently opened uh, a restaurant. He told me that it's mm -hmm. just a few weeks opened or something like that. And I just, again, this area, how how the seating area is uh, located, and then with this bridge where you can get up here into the next area. Oh, and then the really small steps up to the restaurant itself. That's, yeah. That's great. Exactly. And this is what I meant. You, you wouldn't do this like from yourself, you know? These are the kind of challenges that the environment gives you. Yeah. which you have to work with and architects just go in and plan that and then you come you do you do have a result like that but you just don't mm -hmm. do this yourself and i think this is why recreations can really train you to become better at building interesting and more interesting stuff and more immersive stuff but i like this building yeah, totally. a lot I like this building is lot. really great I, th I also think it works really well with the aviary mm -hmm. to the right of it like especially from a bigger distance it just yeah, it, it works really like well together. It really looks as if it fits together. Yeah. And look at these la lanterns hanging down. I like this one. <laughs> Are those just art pieces? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's I think nice. it's the smallest one. Can, can we actually I love up? the logo of mountain terraces on the really side cool. as well. Yeah. Wait, let's just, let me just show that again. And then there like the go. play with the, the wooden planks on the staircase. Yeah, going up. yeah. And these are all like single plan planks, obviously. Oh, Jesus. This is not a wooden texture. It's yeah, and like everything is slightly recolored. Like all the planks have different mm -hmm. colors and like are rotated. That's yeah, really I know that you're a textures. big fan of that. I know that you do this yeah, with the yeah, custom yeah, roofs. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so yeah, this is like also the inside is also worth showing. So that's why I'm just going up. Look at, look at that place. Oh, that's really nice. You can also just rip that all off and, and just give it to me like a holiday uh, flat, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. If you just go into these kind of uh, holiday parks, this could be like one of the suits, uh, suites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of, it's really, really nicely done. I think Mike would be proud of you, Haribo. Yeah, for sure. Mike would be definitely. super proud. I love some and of the I'll plants on the, the, the building as well. Yeah, definitely. But look at that. Just even where you can give your jackets in. How are they called? These what? hanging... Brackets are those made out oh, of? Oh, these the, kind of. Oh yeah, the yeah. cloth hangers, I guess. Cloth hangers, I don't know. that's it. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that, yeah, I get that. That's Coat cool. hangers, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can actually have an elevator. Um, oh God, I like also these. Like, I mean, yeah, you gotta be ADA compliant, of course. Yeah, of course, of course. Otherwise, Mike wouldn't appreciate. <laughs> yes. Uh, Bro Nation wouldn't, um, because Harry was obviously also a very active member of Bro Nation, um, and this one is is one of the things that had a huge discussion going on, as Ooh. Haribo told me, because people were um, complaining that this is not safe enough, would not be safe enough in the US, but that's actually how it is in, in the German yeah. team as well. Also, so. I have to say, I'm a big proponent of, of playgrounds that aren't completely safe, because kids need to hurt, they need to hurt themselves, they mm -hmm. need to get hurt a little bit, at least, you know, so they don't grow up to be major softies. That's absolutely true, yes. I mean, I can, but, I, I couldn't agree more. And then you also have this very subtle entrance to the backstage. Look at that. You just go in here and then like... Oh, I, even I, the backstage <laughs> looks really nice. Yeah, and one of the cool things, you can even see that this is like where small, like, I think, I, I'm not even sure if this is backstage. Wait a second. I think this could, I think, no, no, I think the backstage starts over here. And that is actually right. the, could be something like small animals, like rabbits and stuff. And like, I love the scale of it. It's like half the height of yeah. what Planet Zoo wants you to make buildings, but it, it works out just right. I think, yeah, and that's typically Bro Coaster, uh, Bro Nation. <laughs> yeah. It's like typically. Um, oh, you've got artworks here. Look at them. Look, I, I think oh, yeah. it really works with such a small habitat. I mean, it makes it look more realistic, even though this is like by, by no means the right size. I'm not sure if they can go in, though. But uh, I mean, I think that goes for a lot of this zoo, though. Like, a lot of it is maybe not you know, great in terms of actual zoo ethics, but it, it works great. It's really yeah, realistic. That's true. That's absolutely true. So, and now we're getting slowly towards that one uh, building I really desperately wanted to show you. I'm just going to... Okay. Oh, I so thought that was the, uh, the arched... No, that was, <laughs> already really, that was already really good, but I'm just taking that one over here to show it to you. Look at this one. <laughs> Oh, how does that work? <laughs> I have no freaking idea. We will see this from another angle soon. And from the other side, it's even more impressive. Um, maybe not as huge, obviously, as the other one. But the building itself and the angles is just ridiculous. 
Uh, there you mm -hmm. also have some actual mountain goats here, by the way. Just uh, oh, that's great. So just uh, look these little habitats. You just go past, but they're still totally cool. You know, just having them. Mm -hmm. and, I don't know. It also reminds me a little bit of the the Prague Zoo. It's also quite nice, and it's also built on the hill, so you really oh, okay, have this cool. interplay sometimes with the terraforming. Oh, that's that's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. Now we just come back in here. One of my favorite little gimmicks of the zoo, even even though it's not really. Um, functioning but this kitchen over here oh look i mean look at that it's just yeah it's super cute just this little old our old little coaster trick by putting down a little piece of path here and putting a vendor on who's never be able to go to any staff room he will always be bored <laughs> but i love it oh well it's, so cool. it's worth the sacrifice yeah it is it is and then this one is genius look at that this is like this is the one thing i love like lazy zoo planning in such a little area and then you just have these two plants in back here in these planters <laughs> and then put this straw kind of barrier around and it just kind of uh, looks great. a bit more tropical i love that i love that so much okay so now we get to the last buildings and i think these are amongst the cool buildings he did um yeah we have this little habitat over here which is what is that um the mandarin duck uh-huh I think he used nice. the, I think he used the small yeah he, he's using these small uh, pfalls quite a, quite a bit because they work as small birds quite Did nicely. Did we just see one of them pooping? Yeah yeah as but always uh, as always. Yeah I that mean. works out well. <laughs> All right let's let's go down here first before uh, we check out the other stuff because that one is also a really cool building. We come now to the monkey uh, or ape um, habitats and there we go. This is the one piece I wanted to show you earlier. Look at that. This is this is one of these cool little things to to get some stuff to give to the animals. Uh, you know, yeah, that's great. where the kids have some fun because the, mm -hmm. the kind of money is running through these gears. Yep, yep. I, I love that as a kid. And my parents were like, oh, just just another, just another. My parents never let me do one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, yeah, I, I think I was too annoying, so they eventually did. Also, look at that little gardening piece here, just hidden in there. Some of the janitors just left it there. Oh, <laughs> these little great. details, I, oh my God. Okay, let's go into this house actually. Mm, where's the entrance? I, I missed the entrance. Where is it? Uh, I don't know. Is it here? I think that's the entrance. Yeah. I, oh, look at that. Ah, this is like the double gate to maintain the heat inside. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, it's simulating like the plastic flaps that you go through. L lily pond? I guess it's cool. That's nice. Oh, my lord. What the actual F. Uh, wait, what is that made out of? Like, <laughs> seriously. That's... that's an <laughs> What is that even? Okay, I recognize that piece. I think I recognize these pieces. Oh my god. I mean, we're in your territory. I don't recognize any of it. I, my mind was just going straight to <laughs> when did they add a fire extinguisher oh into the game? Oh my lord. This is so good. This is really incredible. Yeah, but this is... Um, um, which animal was I? I? I know that we do have the lemurs in here. And you can see them going over your heads uh, and then they have the actual habitat is on top here like also in the ah. real zoo which i like there we go look at that there is one coming for us just that's like awesome. for us look at that oh man that's uh okay <laughs> okay that's interesting <laughs> oh they that actually have great. their oh but therefore the the movement over the rock was pretty accurate though that i mean of... aside from that one little jump <laughs> oh <laughs> he's doing that as well oh yeah that's kind of smooth operator. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, generally, though, otherwise, it yeah, seems to be nice. going all right. Yeah. And I, I mean, I love the space, though. The the lighting that you get down on the path here with the branches ah, and so the top cool. of the, the glass roof. That's great. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And then you do have the chimpanzees actually in here. And I love, I love this. Like, look the at custom these. tree thing, though. Yeah. And, Damn. And also these things. I never thought about that. That makes so much sense. You have these branches connected to the wall. And in real life zoos, they have like a little, I think it's kind of, an, I don't know if there's like a, a spring in there or something like that. Um, to make sure that this kind of is a little bit more flexible. So that mm -hmm. they, they have a more natural feeling like in real trees. Yeah, right. And they're not like super static. They are just like moving a tiny bit. I think it, yeah, that's so cool. Um, and yeah, you have just the ringtail lemurs always in here. And then you also have like a big ugly spider somewhere in here. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I even want to see that one. Could I, could I actually ask something strange? Could you look at the ceiling? Because uh, sure. I've been wondering like what is up with this? Is that? Oh, they're all the wooden uh, wooden logs. 
I think that's, that's pretty great. That is, yeah, this is the piece that you used for Mambu just a week before we got actual Mambu. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just still happy that you also got the situation now, finally. <laughs> before it was just me and the lady, now it's also you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh well, uh, the new pieces are great. And also, I think, wasn't this also one of the parks that uh, pioneered using bamboo pieces as roof tiles? Mm -hmm. I I'm guess, pretty definitely, sure. yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, and also I love, like, look at how cool this in inside habitat looks from for the chimpanzees here, though. And then they have also this wonderful outside pen. We're going to look at this from the outside uh, later, but yeah, I just, oh, I love that place. It looks so cool. And it's, again, yeah, it looks one really of the more modern... Too modern uh yeah habitats they also build in real life but yeah there you go this is the mm -hmm. the exit here just gonna go out and then oh my lord look look at that as well look at just how lush it is and it still works i think yeah, i always sure. try to make sure that i avoid having these pieces leaning out of the fences but somehow mm -hmm. if you just if you just like completely up to it and just do it it doesn't even look bad it looks really cool I mean, yeah, if it's just just right, where you could tell that like some smaller branches just jut through, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. That's so good. Yeah, and then on the left hand side you have this. I also like how how this is used with the glass and stuff, so you barely notice that there are the ropes over, but you can still have to mm -hmm. look inside the habitat. And then there's one of the. Are you just going inside now? While well, we come outside, it's fooling <laughs> us. But this is like how it is in real life as well. So yeah, yep, yep, yep. I guess that's how it is. And yeah, just in general, I like it. Look at look at also this one, the sleeping bed over here. Oh, and the coolest so cool. thing is they use it because I remember I did this a lot, quite a lot in my Yosemite Valley. Mm -hmm. And it's so, so cool that they actually use this as bedding. If you rip away all the all the other bedding in the zoo, they will definitely use these things. Also the hammocks and stuff. It's so cool. Right. And yeah, now we come to this ridiculous thing over here. This is really I mean, could you just look back for a second? Because sure. one thing that I also found ridiculous is uh, the support of the pillar in the middle. That's like mm -hmm. such a typical like zoo thing yeah. that you'll see. Uh, never thought that anybody would actually make it in Planet Zoo. But it is so cool. Uh, it makes are, the, it so makes sense because you, you just have all these ropes hanging down here. And you, you it feels so much more dynamic because you have really the feeling that there is some weight to the ropes. It's not like these static big ropes we have in the game and use for actual climbing, you know? I, I really feel yep. they are always feeling super static and super, I don't know, mm -hmm. thick. And yeah, but just if you if you just do it that way, then it looks good. But now, look at that one. This is the one I meant. This is just, it's ridiculous because it's, this one is already good, okay? But this is mm -hmm. perfectly centered. So you, you can definitely tell this is like the rotation trick. Yeah. You can use that one. That one is just, it's, it, I don't know, it's off into... Look at that! It's not like... Look at... The, Jesus. I, I, I don't Yeah, like, know. everything about it is awful. So, like, yeah. on this side, it's 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 taller than on one side. Like, it's it's <laughs> it's twisted in every direction. Yeah, and Jeez. it's not even, like, even to the down... Look at that. You even have this angle yeah. down here. It's not even connected everything at the same height. So, you're also... So, how? <laughs> yeah. How do you even... So he, he I would be very interested to know the building process. Yeah. I know Haribo doesn't do like time lapses or anything. I know that he um, he told me that he just made each single one after each other, and then at a certain point you just get into the groove. But you have to right. like, just to okay. So guys, to give you an idea, okay, what we are talking about. This is not like simply one piece that you tack from here from here to here. It's actually you have this rope piece, and you have to rotate that in a way that if you connect one and two pieces you have to even make sure that those two pieces go into each other to make sure to look like one mm -hmm. so he has to he cannot just go and make them longer he also has to maintain the certain angle of it and how much it tilts inwards it, it, it i don't know it's just ridiculous and then even despite all of the like the three axes of rotation that you need to get right the distance of the ropes is also just right between exactly. all of them which is really impressive yeah. and just look at it look at <laughs> it's so good it's just so damn good just go back oh, it's i don't know i'm i'm just such a big fan of that one um but yeah you obviously have a lot of uh, different viewing points over here this is the red rough lima one and again i'm such a big fan of these kind of uh i don't know guest 
uh, blocks or whatever mm -hmm. so that you know the keepers have some um, privacy to go in here and then yeah this is the this is the habitat because I also think from the inside it's it's worth showing off because I don't know oh yeah yeah it's, uh, it's so good it's just so damn good yeah god um, that netting is, is just yeah, insane it is what the hell it is just incredible yeah and this is like from the other side and yeah sure if that's if that wasn't enough the, the netting is actually even interrupted by a viewing platform like that, you know. And guess what? Yeah, you guessed it. It is correctly connected to here as well. Oh boy. <laughs> this is this is just ridiculous. But again, also uh, this different height over here helps you. Oh my lord! Oh, and I love the pond down there. And there's a there's a pygmy hippo in. I didn't even I, I didn't even notice. So the red ruffed lemurs share that with the pygmy. I know they could. But mm -hmm. oh, that's so cool. And with all the stairs, and can just go up there. <laughs> I love that one. The Do they actually really gain cool. a benefit from it, or is it just I well they can? I think I think they even get a benefit from it. I I believe hippo and the lemurs and the capuchin monkeys they can go together. I guess, but I'm not sure right. if they. Oh, if they I get love this gardening. Yeah, that moss pieces just like slightly intersected. I, oh god. It's yeah, that works great. Yeah, you can definitely tell why this guy is in uh, Bro Nation. <laughs> you can definitely mm -hmm. tell. Oh, that is so good. Look at it. Just, it's stunning. It is really, really stunning. Look at also, man, sidelines. <laughs> God, it's so That's good. Great. Yeah, and this is, oh, this is actually the hippo house. We have to go in as well. Look at that one. There mm -hmm. you go. Um, you get all these uh, small exhibits in here. I love how they... How they appear yeah, so I love different. how they like take pieces out of the wall to make yeah. these different shapes. That is so damn cool. Um, I don't even know where, which way we take this one. I haven't seen at all. I like also this this kind of example of how the a cave system is made. Mm -hmm. I don't even know wh which pieces though. Well, it looks good. It looks great. Is, or or is it not like an actual like animal cave system? Well, I guess usually you would have those in dark indoor mm -hmm. buildings. So maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, could it could actually be like for ants or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's so uh, cool. Sometimes for like moles or um, any kind of like burrowing animals, you'll see in night houses some of those like cave systems. Mm. Could be that. Totally true, yeah. Oh, look at that. And uh, that's so clever as well. Just separating those two to make sure this looks mm -hmm. like two. Oh, I love that as well. And adding a little bit of extra foliage in there on the second floor, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, to, to get the feeling that there is some soil. Obviously, the soil, the, the mulch piece works awesome. Oh, there's also even a rotated tree in here. Look at that. This is definitely not this rotated tree stump there. Oh, God, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why you would do this, but yeah. Okay, there's again our friend, the fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> so good. It is so damn good. Like, let's go and see what's down here. Some snake stuff only. Just a little nice detail. Oh my god, look at... Do we even... That's really it, impressive. I think, is that in-game? I guess it was... Was it edited? It might even be edited. I mean, it looks to have the thickness of... Well, yeah, to be fair, I don't know what pieces it would be made out of if yeah. it is custom. But it looks a little bit too uh, wonky to be in-game. Yeah, true. But you never know Frontier. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know. But I, I, it looks it looks really great, but it looks like it has just like the rough edges that you would have in game. Uh, I mean, if you're trying to build it out of like other in game pieces. Yeah. yeah. That's right. But oh god. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, this is actually Okay, that is potentially most one of the most boring yet interesting yeah. in inside habitats I've ever seen. Okay, and where so does this connect to the outside? Guess, oh, on the right, I guess. Yeah, that's the ramp you have uh, over This here. looks like a flooded parking garage, not uh, gonna yeah, lie. It's true, right? Like from a zombie movie. <laughs> okay, but I guess this is like from the Pygmy Hippo. That might be right, mm -hmm. from the from the yeah. one in the lemur habitat. Which is super clever, because the lemurs would not go here and swim. So mm -hmm. you have the, the, the chance to take care of the Pygmy yourself. I, I yeah. mean, that might kind of make sense, and m most often these zoos are more about functionality as well so yeah that makes sense why it would be like but it's so cleverly put together you know this is like yeah. so small and detailed you would not expect like also with the headlights here look at that 
Mm -hmm. Looks so cool. Yeah, they're really getting a lot out of a very small space here. Like, yeah. I feel like if people build their own zoos, they tend to also make everything quite spacious because you have the ability to, you know, build wherever you want. You have just unlimited control and budget. And I think, you know, this, these limitations of real life zoo uh, really force you to, like, build smaller and simpler. All right. Uh, yep, I agree. While, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. While we got stuck on the roof here, uh, and we can oh. just admire the wonderful... <laughs> well, that, that's the thing about Tejit's camp going up and never going down, yeah. right? Oh, God. Okay, let me just quickly... Let me just quickly do this. There you go. Out of it. Oh, we're actually back at the entrance. Well, that doesn't matter too much. I know where to go. Just completely go through here. Yep, you haven't seen that one. Okay, let's just take those people... Arturo Hotel is going to be Tejit Cam again. Oh, oh, my typing is on point again. Yep. Hmm. There you go. Oh my god, we're actually exactly where we were. So I didn't even notice. Did you notice that uh, you were going through this little planter house, I want to call it? Uh, just the exit of this house? This is like where you go in and then you end up in this building. That's so cool. Oh no, I had no idea. Right. Okay, I think these are most likely the more new entries to the zoo which is really mm -hmm. cool it looks really stunning i'm just going to show you are, are um, there some exposed bricks in the white wall yeah right? just like nice like why but it's so cool it's just it's just there um but yeah let's let's have a look as well wait is that one custom oh my uh, god looks like it oh my lord wait and what happened the, with the curb the curb is also custom jeez uh, because I was like, hey, wait, they, they never they never get so nicely attached like this. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, okay. That's oh. next level. It is. And then, you know, please do not smoke. Oh, this is... I I bet this was ricey. I, I, yeah, I can no, smell... Yeah, no, for sure. I know ricey's ricey. had her hands on some of the stuff in this this surrier. How many... It must be. How... I... Okay. I, I really hope your computer is not watching itself. I yeah, I, I wonder how many pieces that is for a tiny oh, little sign. Okay. I, I, <laughs> okay, forget about it. I, I think I think I don't even want to know. I I just leave it as as it is, and you know I'm just just happy. This is the entrance I wanted to get because the reptile house we've seen that already, but I'm still very impressed by mm -hmm. it. I love the mosaic on the wall. Yeah, this I think this is from the workshop, but it's still very impressive. All uh, right, very impressive. Um, yeah, let's go inside, and I. Again, this is again such a very clever use of space, and you know I'm I'm also such a such a big fan of uh, these details, like the tanks in the back here. Look at that, mm -hmm. and also with these uh, how how they uh, use these kind of little edges to the planters to make sure that the soil isn't falling into this. I just don't know. It's, it's, yep, it's looking really cool. Also, the texturing on the floor is really good, like how how the different uh, sorts of texture is used in here really cool yeah and what those are all just ground textures right yeah yeah right right this is i think we have two different types of sand and then there's some mm -hmm. soil mixed in that would be my guess and it's like the way that they actually use the way that textures conflict is mm -hmm. quite nice totally i love that just giving this brighter color a little bit less um kind of sharp textures and then and the dark one just using a bit more of the rocky texture is so clever it's yep. so good and yeah, we just, I think we just stay above here, but I, ah, this house is like so cool also in real life. I've checked out some images of that. It's so damn lush, but it's looking so good. Just get a little glimpse of these animals and then... I also like how the path is like elevated in the middle yeah. of it with all of the foliage around it. Really makes you feel more like you're like walking this trail through the jungle. Exactly. It's really, really nicely done. But yeah, so I think we've seen mostly the new stuff. Um, I guess we have seen all the new stuff. So let's jump out of Tejit Cam and have a look from above because I think it's very impressive to show you this from above as well. I mean, the, oh, funny, yeah. the funny thing is, you know, we've walked through it and it appears so much bigger than it actually is mm. because there's so much to see and explore. But like this is basically... And everything the, is so compact. Yeah. This is basically the area we've been in for like 50 minutes now. It's incredible. Yeah, it's kind of tiny. God. It is, right? Yeah, but the the use of space and the use of, of, of cleverly put uh, yeah, elements is just so good. 
Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm, I'm like still a big fan of the elevation of that zoo. If you if you have a look to it, like how it all builds up. Yeah, for sure. So cool. I also love the the red tile roof buildings. Actually, I know we didn't really talk about it. I think <laughs> those was like one of the first things in the zoo, right? Yeah, this uh, is just the-, the way that they work, especially together with the building with the, the like the green roof behind it. It's just yeah here's a little little uh history lesson uh, from this zoo as haribo gave me i can kind of give it to the people now so this area over here which is now the reptile house has actually been the outside area of the elephants because that backstage building is the old elephant house of this zoo. Ah. so that has been the uh old elephant that's house very small for an elephant exactly house. so that's also the reason why they don't have any at the moment um or at least not in this build oh no wait they are actually building the most modern um, elephant house in the world, which is in here. This is the next big uh, project Haribo is working mm-hmm. on. Um, so yeah, they get a very more modern one, and this is where the old one has been. Right. So yeah, really cool, really great, uh, greatly done. And yeah, just in general, I like this building a lot. To be honest, I like the yeah, it's great. It, it almost looks like a um, bee. How is this called? Bee. A uh, beehive. Beehive, exactly. That's that's what I was missing. Yeah. So yeah. cool. So cool. Anyways, let's wrap it up quickly by just hovering over the zoo. Um, yeah, so I hope I hope you appreciated this little tour. I think there was a lot to see also for you, for your mm-hmm. architecture. Oh um, yeah, no, it's really beautiful. That's so cool. Yeah, man, I'm 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 shocked by how impressive this this recreation is. Getting. I mean, yeah, everything is just like it's it's really i mean okay so my my personal summary of everything so far is just like i like the detailing the use of textures is great just the overall composition of it is really amazing although i don't know mu- how much credit i can really give for that because it is a recreation mm-hmm. but you know it's it's also double edged sword because on the one hand it means you can't give credit for everything but on the other hand everything is recreated very well which takes a lot of in game skill and especially stuff like the ropes, uh, things like this, are just going above and beyond what most anyone would like actually do in this game. Yeah. It's really impressive. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. And also, I think one thing I might add is, um, it is kind of a little bit of a um, best of zoo recreation. So as Haribo told mm-hmm. me, he needs to kind of build together a few things because some some stuff is in, in, in process right now um, and being rebuilt. And he took also some inspiration from older builds. So it's not like exactly how it is nowadays. Mm-hmm. He also had some other stuff he kept in even though there is some new stuff already so it's it's not like right. 100% but still it's incredibly impressive and you know yeah, I, like that. I cannot wait for more episodes like that it's yeah as I said I, I do not often do this um, but like stuff I really really think is worth doing some tours on I, I really do love and that one definitely deserves mm-hmm. it and looking at the space now for the elephants man I cannot wait to see how that comes together yeah it's gonna be sure and I'm, very modern. I'm wondering how much larger will the zoo be based on like the real life zoo? I have no clue to be honest. I, unfortunately, I haven't been to the zoo. I just briefly checked online the the map and some some mm-hmm. pictures of the zoo. But honestly, though, I I don't really know. If I remember, I will I will edit and picture in now from the zoo map, so you guys can actually see a little bit of a an idea how much more there is to come. But yeah, yeah, so let's wrap it up. Um, Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did enjoy, you know, like always, uh, keep keep a little like to the video. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, do it. And uh, yeah, we are going to talk to each other in the next one. Zilf, um, thank you for being here. That was really a a lovely little tour. Yeah, no worries. Not that little, 50, uh, 55 <laughs> minutes. Oh my god! Um, yeah, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was actually sure that it, it did feel like not that much while we were recording. It was just that as I looked at the time later on, yeah, I was like, same. Oh. Hmm. Same. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, it's really time to wrap it up. Playing the lady here. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, have a good time, everyone. Sylph, also to you, a very warm goodbye. And yeah, thank you. See you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody.